Funny Dinner, live. <laughs> it's live from the Louisville Comedy Club. No one showed up to the job live. application <laughs> website. <laughs> Eric did not. Did you turn in that application? No, I didn't try to work. There. Last time Eric was here, he tried. He was printing out an application, printing off a few extras. I say, why don't you go run one down to the new comedy club? I wanted to work there for a weekend because. Joe Gad was coming. coming to town, but it was that weekend, and I don't want it to be like my training week. Yeah, I don't want training... to look. I don't want to look like a rookie in front of Joe. You don't want to probably be... prank me. Oh. <laughs> if he knew I was training, oh, that might Dude, be even a guy better. Who's training at a comedy club, and Joe Gatto's your first headliner. You're Eric, getting, you could have been on True pranked. TV. You're getting <laughs> pranked for sure. Oh yeah. They're going to call you into the office. They're going to be like, listen, we heard that you've been uh, sexually harassing every single employee, <laughs> male and female. And you're like, what? <laughs> no, I've just been like trying to like learn like where like where the ice bin is. And then, like, in the, then behind the wall, which is clearly a fake wall. Sal you, just you hear falls someone through. fall over. Sal falls through <laughs> this fake paper wall and starts rolling around, convulsing. You got me. It takes like five minutes for everyone to realize he's having a seizure. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's everyone, it's like their first day serving at a comedy club, and they're having trouble learning the table numbers, Yeah. and then someone's like, go take it to uh, table 12, and they're like, alright, so that's one, okay, okay, I think I got it, and the next thing you know, you see them on stage taking mozzarella sticks <laughs> to the tiny little table <laughs> next to the comic. <laughs> Sam Morrill, <laughs> Sam Morrill's got a great new Instagram clip. Sam Morrill's up there, some confused server. He's eating the mozzarella, mozzarella sticks. sticks and two drinks, <laughs> putting them on the stool. He's got a mai tai. Oh, I forgot the first table's table two, not table one. <laughs> yeah, table one. We don't take drinks. To we that don't. Table. Oh, table one. Oh, table one's the host stand. Fuck. <laughs> And Sam Morrill's like, no, it's a. It, it, I put I'm it, hungry. I put it on the table. I put it on the stool. And then I realize, and I go, oh, wrong table. And I try to give it to the other. And they go, it touched the stool. It touched the stool. You got to make it. And new I'm one. like, you don't trust Sam? I'm getting in a fight. In front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Morrill's offended. <laughs> it's like, what? Mozzarella sticks can't be around me? What? Come on. <laughs> come on, man. What mozzarella sticks? Hey, come on, mozzarella sticks can't be. <laughs> what mozzarella neither, neither of us can do you know. the same moral. <laughs> We're both trying to go deep, but that's not really what it is. That's probably what why Mark Norman, out of the two of them, is the more famous one. Because he's easier to do an easier impression. Easier to do an impression of. Because he's of. just doing an impression of Seinfeld. Exactly. With, autism, <laughs> with even more autism. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll come. And he's like, I was just kidding. Just kidding. But you bought the ticket. <laughs> like, Here you are. We're doing a show. <laughs> it's like, I've, I want to boo, but there isn't enough space between <laughs> <the> jokes. <laughs> he's so tight. I want him he's to. He's so <laughs> tight. There's no room for booze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes are so tight. Mark Norman's so fast, he can't even hear the fact that. <laughs> People <laughs> aren't laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I keep talking, I won't notice I'm bombing. Kidding. That's what I usually do. Just kidding. Gay. Also kidding. Straight. Still kidding. It just cuts to... I haven't come in a decade. It cuts just to kidding. an empty audience. <laughs> you believe I used to skateboard? Doesn't seem right, does it? No, I, I do drive a cars. <laughs> Comedians on boards. Comedians doing, on boards. Doing bits. I'm a millennial. I don't have a car. I got a board. No, he's got a car. He's got a... Jetta? Put some shit. Got a Jetta. Mark Norman's so uninteresting. It's like, wow, you used to do comedy? What, like, why'd you quit? It's like, oh, I learned how to, like, talk to people and make yeah. friends. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of quit after I that. I cured my narcissism. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized how stupid this was. Yeah. So I quit. <laughs> It took six years, but I, I got there. <laughs> it's great. People are like, oh, man, all those big comics always fall off, you know, once they get, like, happy. <laughs> happy and money. <laughs> and, like, yeah. Mark Marin hasn't done anything good since he stopped staying up all night screaming into a notebook. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> he needs to go back to being miserable. Uh, it is funny that Mark Marin's in such a good position that, like, his his like partner tragically died, yeah. and he's still like, ah, I'm doing fine. I'll do it. It's like, wow, what a you really are sober, Mark. Like <laughs> Jesus, very sober. <laughs> like wow, 
<laughs> America totally would have let you have like a big old <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> if you'd slipped, we all would have been cool with that. Yeah. If you had lived the fourth season of Marin, yeah. you think Obama <laughs> reached out to Marin? I hope he did. Do you think people... Re- that would be fascinating. That would be cool if Obama had... To know do you think who... Obama... Do you think if Obama ran into Mark, he would remember him? Obama, I bet he would. Obama, Obama sends seems like a, that kind of guy. I bet he would remember him. Because that's like a unique thing. Yeah, him uh, doing a podcast. Yeah. That's kind of weird. But yeah, but also in a garage with like a comic. <laughs> Mark Marion hasn't done a lot of pod. <laughs> Obama hasn't done a lot of podcasts where people ask who his comedic influences are. I'm kind are. of wondering when the last time Obama was even in a garage was. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's not like he's getting out to warm the car up. No. <laughs> uh, Michelle, I'm going to go see how the snowblower is working. Don't worry, Mark. One day, you'll get that White House correspondence kick. Oh, that is going to... I mean, no, That would suck. That would suck. I was about to say... <laughs> I was not saying that'd be cool, but then I actually thought about it, and I pictured Mark Maron slunched it's over a podium. It's the White correspondence gig, and he pulls a stool out, yeah, exactly. and sits down. No, instead of the stool, you'd be slunched over the podium. I can't support my own weight. This is the only way I'm comfortable. This is the most uncomfortable position for most people in the world, but... I love that on the Him and Norm podcast, when he's like... And Norm's like, then you got some guy going up there sitting down. And Mark Maron's like, I sit down now. And Norm's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Norm McDonald, a guy known for not moving at well, all on yeah, stage. Yeah, not even a little bit. But at least he stands. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, Mark. <laughs> Put some theater into it. <laughs> uh... Norm McDonald could have like, done a special with like a microphone hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> And just, like, not touching it. Oh, did you hear the big comedy news? No. Should we touch on it? I don't know what it is. Should we touch on the big news? I don't know what it is. I think we should touch on the big news. I know we don't usually do stuff like this. What's but the big news? I think we should touch... You don't know? I don't. <laughs> I don't know the news. See ya. And we talked about this on the podcast. My, my girlfriend's stepdad... Saying that he's part of the LGBTQ community. Yeah, I don't think we. I think you just told me that. <laughs> yeah, we were at like a Christmas thing, and he was like, "Hey, what does the Q mean in LGBTQ? Is it is it questioning?" And I thought, I thought, because I like forgot in the moment. I was like, "Yeah, I get questioning. Yeah, I guess that's what it would be." Sure. Because I forgot queer was what it obviously yeah. is. Yeah. And then uh, he goes, he goes, "Well, that means I'm a member because I'm questionable." <laughs> Like people see me on the street, they're like, that guy's questionable. <laughs> We've got some questions. It was like Thanksgiving, wasn't it? <laughs> it was, yeah, around Christmas. It would I be think. great. It would be great if he was like, Well then I'm question I'm part of it too, because I'm questioning whether I should go back for a second plate. <laughs> <I'm questionable. laughs> that fucking, the LGBT that fucking honey baked ham is delicious. I think I'm questioning I'm whether or not I want to take it all home with it's me. Questionable. <laughs> I'm questioning about grabbing it and jumping out the kitchen window, <laughs> taking this ham hawk home with me. This is a great episode. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't remember anything. Father Tompkins was on tag. <laughs> Delta Burke was Miss Florida, 1974. <laughs> no one knows. Who, we don't even know who Delta yeah, Burke is. Neither of us really know who Delta Burke is. Oh, she was in Bozo the Cloud. There's a Norwegian comedy drama called Dag. <laughs> oh. I bet it's not. I bet Dag means something different. <laughs> Let's look up the producer of The Love Boat. <laughs> Gavin McLeod. The series is <laughs> Look about... at this photo of him. <laughs> and then I'm pointing <laughs> and we're discussing specifics of the photo. <laughs> so Dag, the Norwegian TV series, it's about a marriage guidance counselor, Dag, played by the inimitable Atle Antonsen. <coughs> he has little faith in people or marriage. <coughs> and that has nothing to do with David Allen Greer. This, uh, unless unless this is how oh Norwegians... this might help dag is Dutch for day so but it's just the man's name but his name is like day it'd be like if so if someone's like name how on like... the office it's uh his name's John worker Johnny work Johnny work Jim I can remember Jim is the name I'm Jim sure. work <laughs> Jim desk <laughs> uh no it it aired in Sweden too yeah no I know that's where I saw it oh and Finland. Yep, all of the... Oh, uh, it ended up in the United Kingdom. All of the Nordic Isles. (laughs) The United Kingdom, one of the famous Nordic Isles. No, that's a different place. (laughs)
Everybody knows that. Oh, I did see uh, when I was pooping earlier. Hell yeah. Not to be TMI, I know. Um, <laughs> I um, I did see a... Uh, I did see... I, I'm not looking at my phone for no reason. I'm going to show you the screenshot of the picture. If I can... Uh, screenshot ever. of a picture. Screenshot of a painting. Of a picture of a painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's the newest Pink Floyd compilation. <laughs> It's Pink Floyd done by the electronic artists. Uh, well, I don't know where my screenshots can save <laughs> to, but um, the uh, I thought it was a fucking like Onion article, but it, the headline was just like during because Marina Abramovich, remember her? Well, yeah, what's she up to? Uh, well, she's rebooting. She's rebooting. She's <laughs> rebooting art. She's doing <laughs> I put that, a bunch of people in a cave. She's doing that thing where she sits again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not a lot of people. She's can pulling say, a Marin. Not a lot of people can say Her that. Her and Mark Marin should do that fucking <laughs> performance together. But um, apparently, during the first rehearsal, because this dumb bitch has to rehearse to sit. I shouldn't call her a dumb bitch, but uh, this terrible artist <laughs> has to rehearse sitting. Yeah. Um, and uh, she fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she fell asleep, and apparently some guy paid like fucking like uh, forty grand to be the first guy who like gets to like sit across from her. Yeah. And she just fucking like fell asleep instantly. Not instantly. Like he, <coughs> she fell asleep because I guess you're not supposed to sit for like a super long time. Um, and uh, she fell asleep for like ten minutes, and then apparently he went. He was like kind of because you're not supposed to break eye contact, yeah. you know. That's the whole thing. Oh, okay. But then he started breaking eye contact and like looking around the room all weird. Like, is she fucking really asleep? Yeah. And then apparently he just like loudly went, "Is she supposed to be asleep?" <laughs> 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 like hoping it would wake her up, yeah. but it did not. <laughs> she just kept sleeping. There's some guy at the Met Gallery going. <clears throat> <laughs> She was like, but it didn't wake her up. And then apparently he just kept sitting there. And then like five minutes later, she just started like snoring. Like super oh my loud. God. <laughs> that is awesome. And then she released a statement where she was like, I'm sorry. That hour of the day is usually my nap time. Oh my God. She used a nap time as nap her excuse. <laughs> Sitting was just too much fucking work for her. She had to take a nap. This dumb bitch. I shouldn't say this. This horrible person. <laughs> Can't stay awake for 40 grand for an hour for art. <laughs> I'm doing aw. Uh, I really. I just believe in this piece. Ah, man. The uh, novelty of this is done for me. Yeah. I feel like a road hack. <laughs> like literally that's like <laughs> what the fuck that sounds awesome like if if, if i was like her and if I, I had paid that 40 grand i would have been like listen that was weird in the moment but 40 grand well spent <laughs> i got the most unique <laughs> that is true experience from this fucking woman i just love the fact that like that is that to me is more artistic than fucking whatever her actual piece yeah. would be <laughs> Just stare at someone until you fall asleep. Have someone pay forty grand to like be? Hey, art's supposed to make you uncomfortable. And you're, I bet you're real uncomfortable. That guy was probably so uncomfortable. I bet you're real uncomfortable with how little, how small your wallet is now. Yeah. You should have bought an NFT, idiot. That might have been worth something. They just get her like um. A little vibrate thing under the chair. Like an egg under her pussy. What, what <laughs> no. are you talking about? You dirty <laughs> fucking No, they get her like a little a little beep beeper to keep her awake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Art. <laughs> She's stretching. <laughs> it is, like it is great because it's like, hey, this isn't what this piece is supposed to be. This Sitting in a chair. <laughs> There's strict rules. There's strict rules to <laughs> sitting, sitting in a chair. With your eyes open. Staring at it somebody else. Sitting and looking forward. Although that being said, if that is the piece, it's like, 
you broke one of the three things you had yeah, to do. Yeah, there's <laughs> very few rules to this. Yeah. I don't know whose side I'm on. I don't either. That, to me, way more interesting than Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whatever. Like, why? That should be the thing yeah, everyone's meaning. That's, that should be... It should be a photo of a Marina Bramovich asleep. And then a photo of that guy cupped arms or hands around his mouth going in the streets. Posted. The big bullhorn. Yeah, and then it's like, my bank account. <laughs> my got Coachella tickets. <laughs> Whatever the fuck. <laughs> big dick skater boys. My Thanksgiving at my mom's. Yeah, there <laughs> You're we like, go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Every meme now it just boils down to like I'm 19 and I'm horny. <laughs> somebody, somebody, <laughs> fuck somebody, me. fuck me. <laughs> it's like, yeah, how did how this become the trends? Remember when it was dirtbag Steve or whatever? The fuck? <laughs> Scumbag, shithead Scumbag Steve, or, or that guy who the fat Jew, that fat guy with the you'd be you'd be blocking the door and then there'd be a photo of the door open yeah. and the door closed. Remember that one? Remember when it was just, uh, like, uh... That girl loved Goosebumps books? Remember when it was just, like, <laughs> pictures on top of, like, a, like a, like a dog? Yeah. Or a cat? A picture on top of a cat. A pic- <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember, There was a course. picture of a cat, and there was words on the top oh, and yeah. the bottom. They were just jokes. I remember, can... remember simpler times? I can has health care? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was a simpler time. Now it's like, I, it's a girl with cat ears, and it's, I can't has gum all over my dirty... I can has become boy, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whatever, whatever happened to Star Wars, kid? <laughs> this is Andy Rooney. <laughs> In the future. <laughs> In my space, you'd pick a top eight. You'd, you'd pick a top a eight, and that's all that mattered. You could you, have as many as you wanted outside of that. You'd go to the page, and it would really play mattered. a song. <laughs> They'd play a song. You'd play your favorite song. You'd play your least favorite song, so your friends would be annoyed. You'd have Sometimes to... you'd pick your your top friend's least favorite song, set it as your song that auto plays. And then you you tell them, hey, come check out the new song that I put on my MySpace. Now you're 50, you're lonely. Now you don't talk to that man anymore. He's dead, od three, four years ago. You don't even know. You know, he just stopped heard yesterday. You haven't song. talked to him in 20 years. You heard the song yesterday. <laughs> you know that shit yesterday, that movie? Yeah. Where the kid's like, oh, I wrote the Beatles, yeah. so no one knows it? Yeah. That sounds like a dumb movie. It is. Is, Have you seen it? I have not, but I'm sure. But did you know that Paul McCartney wrote yesterday? He was convinced that he had stolen it from somebody. And then he went around for like a month playing it for people being like, this is like a famous song, right? And everyone was like, no. Dork. He's like, well, it will be. It will be. That would be a fun. So, way in to a weird way, they not only stole the that guy not only stole the Beatles music from the Beatles. Yeah, he stole the story of yeah. how the Beatles got the Beatles music. Do you think they had to pay the Beatles for that movie, or do you think they got like they were like, listen, the Beatles didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have to pay royalties on this. I would like to uh, show the jury Exhibit A. They wheel in a TV on a cart. <laughs> play the whole movie. Yeah. Now, clearly the Beatles didn't exist. <laughs> Yesterday. Uh, no, the Beatles don't exist. No, man, we were doing a show yesterday. You ever throw You weren't it. doing a show yesterday. We did a show. <laughs> you and I opened for Cat Power. <laughs> I wish. I'd love to meet her. Cat Power. Big I'm, fan. Big fan. Whoa. <laughs> I've been reading a, not reading, I've been listening. (laughs) I've been reading a lot of CDs lately. I've been reading, no, it was an audio book. Oh, okay. Sometimes I I can't get the book, I'm like, oh, it's easier to just listen to an audio book on YouTube than to get a book. I guess. Because it's like, oh, I've never read Henry Rollins' Get in the Van. Uh, I'll... But it's like, do I really want to borrow a copy from someone I know who owns that book? <laughs> do I want to talk to that person? Like, do I want to physically touch a thing <laughs> that somebody who owns Henry Rollins get in the van as owned yeah. for a while? And do I want to, I'm going to have to see him twice. Yeah. Because they're going to ask for it back. They're that kind of dude. I'm going to have to see him three times because they're going to be crashing on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to drop the book off and be like, you mind if I crash here? 
<laughs> no, there's a, it's great because it's his like diaries on the road, and I'll just be like, every night I cut myself to get my adrenaline going, to to, to take it to these sheep and spit in their face, and then the next page will just be like, no girls talk to me after shows. <laughs> I thought Henry Rollins was like asexual. Uh, I th- I don't know, sort of. Outside of that time that he told me, he told he me. told me. <laughs> <laughs> you two were texting about girls. <laughs> he told me personally. You and Henry Rollins were chatting. He uh, told me that he was a ge- the guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race, and he jerked off and accidentally came thinking about one of the girls. Oh yeah, no, I think he is like that thing. Which now would get him canceled. Cancel. What would it? Yeah. You'd be a progressive. That's a woman. Actually, yeah. that's not. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> someone is someone is accidentally This has got a lot of layers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not <laughs> Hey, you call these drag I queens I... women like they want. They're like we don't want that's not That's not what we want that's to be not called. Like the thing. <laughs> when I was in college, John Edwards came to speak. Was... Yeah. That's not it. <laughs> And that's not the thing he said. <laughs> that's like zero percent any of that. You, that's the right uh, party. <laughs> wrong year. <laughs> wrong year. Candidate. His phrase. Tone. <laughs> he got the right hand motion. Who was that? Howard, yeah, Howard Dean. Dean. Yeah. This what was, did he say? He went, yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go to. We're gonna take back the White House. Yeah. He was like uh, Bernie Remember Sanders. Dave Chappelle made fun of that. Yeah. You know, it's funny in hindsight. You talk about like everyone now talks like psyops and shit. Everybody. Does. Everybody. <laughs> but like everybody talk about the psyops. But like how the media controls politics. And it's like Howard Dean was like the OG Bernie Sanders guy, even though he's probably younger than Bernie Sanders. I, I, I don't think probably needs to be in that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, politics is funny. <laughs> A guy in 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Younger than a guy, oh, blah blah blah. <laughs> you get it, That's sure. No, but then he did that, and then everyone was like, "This guy's a dork." Just make fun of that hand thing. Yeah, and it derailed him. Yeah, that was probably the that was you know what I mean. That changed American politics. That was probably forever. the powers that be, being like, "This is our chance." Yeah, it'd be like if Bernie, uh, when that Shit eagle himself. had come out, would have like been like, "Oh." <laughs> No, that's not what happened. Trump, about. Trump when got an eagle a, came out. Remember, Trump got like bit by the e- an eagle, trying to like bite him. <laughs> You've never seen that. I don't remember that. There's like this video of Trump like doing some like photo shoot next to an eagle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I thought you meant just like he was just like out and about. No, and there was that, and attack. then there was the Bernie Sanders thing where the bird landed on his podium. Oh yeah. But if that bird would have landed, and Bernie Sanders would have like pulled out a worm out of his pocket <laughs> or something, like. I would love if a president did that. Now that's an early bird. Talk about an early bird. <laughs> and then everyone's just making fun of his bad joke. <laughs> and then it derails him. And then we wouldn't have President Bernie Sanders like we have now. Saving yeah, the like country. We, like we have now. <laughs> Can he still run? No, Howard Dean. Howard, again, Howard Dean still yeah. Why doesn't Howard Dean come back? I don't know. That is actually a very good question. What's he been up to? Uh, I always like... Like the internet in your home now? Michael Dukakis... He, uh, Michael Dukakis ran against George H.W. Bush in 1988 for president, see? Uh, and he lost. And Istanbul's kind of See, he <laughs> lost. <laughs> Michael Dukakis lost the presidency in 1988. But he's still around. He just, like, does po- he does other politics shit. Yeah. But there's this news story about him, uh, how every year around Thanksgiving, he'll just show up at all of his relatives' houses with turkeys and being like, I'm going to make you guys a turkey dinner. And then he takes the bones... Because he likes making turkey soup. <laughs> and his relatives are like, yeah, he just, like, makes excuses to make us. To, like, one of his, do- like, granddaughters was like, I was in college. It was my freshman year. And he, like, showed up to our dorm with, like, a turkey. <laughs> and then I was like, Grandpa, we, like, don't have, like, an oven in our dorm. <laughs> Put a crock pot in here. <laughs> He's obsessed with turkey soup. Stoop? Yeah. Turkey stoop. So that's probably what Howard Dean's up to. It's like, whatever the equivalent of that is. <laughs> He's a doctor. Howard Dean? It doesn't say how old he is, and I can't do math. He was born in... Dr. Dean. He was born in 48. <laughs> he's um, six years older than my mom. How old your mother? Ah, I thought you'd know that. <laughs> no, he's 73. There we go. 
That's that's not too old. You should run for president again. That'd be yeah. great. <laughs> Howard Dean just comes out. I'm because, back. Yeah, I mean, he could make some like he could make some fire memes. I'm dude. Beats, dude. He could make some fucking fire memes with no that. No one bro. would get that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that happened literally like 20 years ago. It happened in 2004. Oh, okay. so it happened. Um, right. I was thinking it happened 18 wow. years ago. So instead of him, we got John Kerry. That that moment can vote. <laughs> so he's got at least one it's like the spike tv best moments countdown that moment's 18 now but <laughs> next up on greatest political moments on spike tv he denounced the 2003 invasion of iraq yeah uh he supported... Which we as a podcast, we should talk about this off-air. But we do, right? Uh, I think you're right. We should talk about it off-air. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. We'll have to cut this part. <laughs> he endorsed Hillary Clinton's run for... Oh. Uh-oh. He endorsed Clinton's run for president. Who didn't endorse Hillary. He endorsed Clinton over her competitor, Bernie Sanders, in spite of the fact that Sanders Sanders represented the state of Vermont where Dean had been governor. Wow, <laughs> fucking dick move, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm one of the few people who's um who's like who voted for who supported Hillary over Barack, but Bernie over Hillary. Bernie over Hillary. <laughs> So you're just racist. I'm saying. one of those rare people. You're just racist. <laughs> I guess that doesn't have me. <laughs> now, remember John Edwards? He was the third guy with... Howard Dean. Yeah! No! <laughs> John Edwards is the third guy. With... He's the one who went windsurfing, right? No, it's John Kerry. <laughs> John Edwards is John Kerry's running mate. And then they were like, hey, you didn't win as vice president. You'll definitely win as president yeah, next time. You got this. We'll have... Uh, the options are a woman... And then everyone's like, yeah, the first ever black president. And everyone's like, yeah. And they're like, or we could stick with a white guy. You know what? Okay, we'll do one of those other two options. <laughs> no, yeah, but he wow. came He came to speak at IU when I was there. And uh, and he has the same name as the guy who does Crossing Over with John Edwards, where he talks to ghosts. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this will be funny. I'll go to that speech. And I'll watch like an hour and a half speech. And then in the q and I'll ask that question. But then it was like, okay, it's Q&A time. Oh, there's like a massive line of people in suits. <laughs> and it was like, god damn, this is like three hours of my life. I'm going home. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even high anymore. Yeah, this was, is not a funny joke. Yeah. <laughs> so I just accidentally watched a John Edwards speech. Did you know that he uh, he was found not guilty? Uh, for cheating on his wife? For cheating on his <laughs> No, oh, yeah, that was, was the scandal going on. He was not at convicted of a crime, but the revelation that he engaged in an extramarital affair and fathered a child while his wife Elizabeth was dying of cancer yeah. gravely damaged his public image and ended his career in politics. Yeah, that's not a that's not really like a yeah a charming thing. He came either. to U of L or IU right <laughs> after that. You probably came <laughs> I, to U of L. I followed him like fish. <laughs> yeah, I, U of L next. I, I went around. <laughs> I was selling blazers in the parking lot. <laughs> On the John Edwards speaking tour. I was selling blazers and red ties in the parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) That would be cool. Who could, what politician could we follow? Bernie, baby. Let's find some arbitrary, like, shitty band over the summer. And just follow them. And follow them. Like, (laughs) Just kind of freak out some local <laughs> punk band. <laughs> yeah, they're going on like a five day run. Yeah. Let's go to all of them. Yeah, like like they'll do one show here. They'll be from here. Let's maybe. Yeah, they'll be from here. And then maybe they'll do like a show in Lexington. We'll show up at that, and they'll be like, "This is kind of weird. A little weird. Kind of weird." And then they'll be in Cincinnati next. <laughs> yeah. And there we are. There we are. Front row, <laughs> wearing the shirts we bought the last show. <laughs> wearing, we buy a new shirt every time. We just keep putting shirts on. Yeah. <laughs> Wearing six shirts by the end of it. <laughs> Covered in stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Hey man, Henry Rollins did that and then they let him join the band. 
and that, <laughs> that would be great if by the end of it they're like, hey, our drummer's sick. <laughs> we're like, oh, we're doing a bit. We actually don't know your songs. I, I have not been paying attention. The whole time you guys play, we just make jokes We've to each laughing. other. <laughs> We've been laughing. We have an air, we each have one AirPod in. <laughs> We've been and we talk. We've been listening to Run DMC. <laughs> <laughs> Which we've also been making fun of. <laughs> Sorry, Boner City. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that'd be cool. That'd be a fun band to do it with. Uh, do it with. Been there, done that. <laughs> hey, come on. There. We were talking about yesterday. Uh, <coughs> uh, me and somebody, but it's like you have comics where they're like, I used to. I, I'm a regular. I've been a regular for like. 20 years at the comedy store. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you mean the club that, like, uh, was notoriously bad until, like, 10 <laughs> years ago? Like, <laughs> so, like, anyone who's like, I used to work at the comedy store, it's like, well, you're not currently working there. So it means you're bad. So it means you suck. Because yeah, it used to be bad. <laughs> it used to be one of the worst clubs in America. <laughs> and that's when you that's got why in the you door. Work there. <laughs> it's, that's, like, my favorite credit. <laughs> Regular the comedy, and then the so. guy one time who uh who said he's from Saturday he did he's on Saturday Night Live yeah, and then uh uh but it was just a like someone did a show where they're like called Saturday Night Live and this weekend at Terry's Bar Saturday, Saturday Night, Night, Night Live. Live he performed on Saturday Night Live it's not a lie it's not a lie it's not a lie yeah a lot of credits that have that defense. I would like to, I would love, yeah, (laughs) I would love to just make endless podcasts called, like, The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Like, no, I was on my podcast, The Tonight Show with Johnny Johnny Carson. (laughs) Why, oh, you put that logo from The Real Tonight Show, oh. That's fine. I have my own logo, but just keep that one on there. I don't want to put any more work on it. No, I don't want your graphic, I don't want your team just play a podcast i was like reading stuff from npr.com because i feel like i'm like breaking the rules i'm breaking the law i'm like i'm not gonna listen to this <laughs> i listen to i'm just shit. gonna skim I'm the re- words i'm reading it <laughs> fucking get out of here jad <laughs> get out of here kai everyone with the fucking fake name um i uh somebody gave me tickets to go see bright eyes last night bright eyes was last night yeah did you go? I did. You saw Bright Eyes last night? Yeah, it was free, so I went. Where was that show? At uh, Paris Town Hall. There were so many shows yesterday. <laughs> you? Were people at Bright Eyes? Uh, yeah, it was Okay, rad. I was worried I was going to, like... Uh, Steal some of his crowd. Yeah, I was worried I was yeah. going to dilute the Bright Eyes yeah. crowd. No, it was... Hey, uh, that makes me feel even better about my draw. It was one of those <laughs> things where, like, I was there, and, like, because I don't go to a lot of, like... I've, I mean, I haven't been to a thing like that in years... Was it you alone, or did you go with the lady? Uh, I went with somebody. Or yeah. a friend. Um, yeah, I went with somebody. I'll tell you later. Um, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it was one of those things where I was looking around, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is why bands don't come to Louisville. There's definitely not enough people here. Yeah. <laughs> like, Bright Eyes is pretty successful. This is not really... It was, like, pretty full, but... Was, I feel like Bright Eyes should sell out. Yeah, it should be pretty uh, packed. Um, I once stood around the corner to see Bright Eyes, and then we went, let's leave, and then we left. <laughs> but, but I, I, hey, I went, I stood around the corner. He was fucking hammered. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dude, he came out doing these fucking doofus dance moves, and I thought Hell he was yeah. doing like a bit. <laughs> and he was wearing this shoe that it looked. He was wearing this shirt, and it looked like it had a shoelace like tied around it. And I couldn't tell if he just had a shoelace tied around it, or if it was like a fashion thing. Maybe both. And he was just like he was doing these fucking stupid fucking. Da- he was like dancing like a rapper, and then he did this thing where he like had the mic upside down. Yeah. And he was like doing like the fake. I don't even know. I don't know how to describe Eric it. Eric is Try doing and... it. Eric's looking like uh, Parappa the rapper. Yeah. There. Yes. Or yes. like someone on the Simpsons. Like if the Simpsons had a white rapper. No, character. Parappa the rapper is an excellent way to describe yeah. his dance moves. That yeah. is how he was dancing. Yeah. Um, Which Parappa the rapper very popular with kids these days. And then he played like two songs. And then he was just like, I can't believe I'm wearing this stupid fucking shirt with a shoelace on it. And I was like, I can't either. <laughs> Why did you put it on? <laughs> You've got money for other shirts. <laughs> That's wild. And he had three He had three drinks on top of his piano. And okay. then he had a big Nalgene bottle on the other end of it that he never drank from. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, so that's not water. And yeah. he's just getting drunker and drunker. <laughs> and uh, by the time he came out for the encore, he came out for the encore. He spoke for like a minute, 
I didn't understand a fucking word he said. He's saying it as in an airplane covered in pee. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not even him, is it? No. I think that's Neutral yeah, Milk Yeah, that's Hotel. Neutral Milk Hotel, yeah. <laughs> he has a song with an airplane. Yeah, that's, yeah. But, um... Uh, so anyway, so he made, I don't know how much you know about Bright Eyes, but he made fun A little of, bit. He made fun of Mike Mogus, who was like the only other consistent Okay, I guess less. Bright Eyes. Than I know. <laughs> He's like, was Mike Mogus there? Uh, I think he was, yeah. <laughs> you know, no one knows I don't even know really, yeah, there. I like, I know his name, but I don't think I can pick Connor, it out of you're gonna have to point if this is a specific one on the stage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was there, but, uh, cause he was making fun of him. He was like, Mike doesn't know how to play the old songs anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here only has to play the new song. He's just like drunk, talking shit about his best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, we've all been there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so he makes fun of him for not remembering the songs, and then it's the encore. So what do they play? Uh, their hit song. <laughs> First Day of My Life. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they play that. Oh, I know that song. Yeah. It's a terrible song. I think I've played that at a coffee shop before. I think you probably have. <laughs> I think you probably have. Either it's either I think I've played acoustic bass while someone else sang and played acoustic guitar. Yeah, that. yeah that sounds about right. Um, but uh, so then he plays that song, just totally fucks it up. <laughs> Misses like an entire verse, and then also like there's plenty of because everybody's singing along. Everybody loves that song. I like that one. That's like first with your hand, and then just like electronic <laughs> music. Did you do that one? Uh, no, I also don't that know what bastard. that song is based on your very vague description. <laughs> the listeners. There's dude. synthesizer in, and he's singing like the guy from Rock he's Lobster. First <laughs> with your... Like, nah, I don't recognize that one. <laughs> but he totally fucks it up, and then like there's plenty. There's like three points where like everybody's like singing along, and everybody sings the right words, and he just fucks it up, and everybody kind of has a moment where they look around like, so did we all forget yeah. how this song goes? <laughs> That's awesome. Or is he going like full Bob Dylan, you know, like, hey, he might play the song. He's changing but, it up. You know, you never know what it's going to be like. My friends saw Eddie Money. That would be great if that was his excuse. He's like, well, you guys always compare me to Bob Dylan, so <laughs> I'm just going to start singing whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> <laughs> My friends saw Eddie Money in like 2004. Just like Bright Eyes, contemporaries. Well, no. <laughs> but Eddie Money kept holding out the microphone for like the whole audience sing along thing. But he was clearly doing it at points where he just forgot the song. Like it would just be arbitrary lines like in the verses <laughs> and stuff. I've got two tickets to pay your I thought it was three. He's like, fuck. <laughs> that's a bright eye. Was there. That's funny. Was, were people digging it, or were they like, this guy's nuts? I laughed, and I kept, like, because everybody's leaving at once, and I kept, I was, like, asking people, like, did he seem drunk to you? And they were like, not as drunk as he was in Indianapolis in 2011. <laughs> Good grief. I also met this one guy. This guy's, Bright eyes, fucking heads. This guy started talking to me, and he was like, you seen bright eyes before, man? And I actually have. I saw them when I was 16, and I should have left it at that. <laughs> That, that was the perfect time. You've seen Bright Eyes twice. That was the perfect time for that to have happened, and I should have just left it at that. Wow. Like, I should not have seen it again as a 28-year-old. So you've seen Bright Eyes two times. I have. Uh, but uh, this guy was like, you seen them before? And I was like, yeah, I saw them like, like the last time they came to town, like years and years and years ago. And he was like, I was at that show, man. And I was like, cool. He was like, yeah, man. Bright Eyes is like, it's like the only like indie bullshit that I like, man. He's like, I listen to like fucking like death metal and hip hop. Where'd you run into my friend Andy? <laughs> Andy's not that Southern. No. No, but Andy, my friend Andy who doesn't like any music, Bright Eyes is the only music he's ever liked. Has he updated you on how he's getting into music? Oh, he, I asked him about that like a year later because he told me once that he was getting into music. <laughs> it's like a 32 year old. He's <laughs> getting into music. And I asked him like a year later, I saw him, I said, I said, do you still listen to music? And he went, no, hell no. Do you still listen? It didn't stick. Do you still listen to music? Music didn't stick. A question, well, he's one of the few people in the world that you could ask that question yeah. to. So, how did music go for you? <laughs> nah. Didn't like it. <laughs> no, but he liked Bright Eyes. He likes Bright Eyes. That's who I went. We were at South by Southwest going to like, not at the thing, but just going to like free shows around it. Yeah. And there was like a free Bright Eyes show. And he and I were like, we should go to that. And then we went, like, we we're like, oh, the show starts like a half hour. Yeah, let's go, like, get in line. 
And then there's like a line of like hundreds of people. And then he and I were like, oh, I guess we don't like Bright Eyes as much as all these other people. Yeah, they've been here for a while. And these people really like Bright Eyes. <laughs> that guy's got a tent. Yeah, like, maybe we don't deserve to go to the show. That was kind of our vibe. And then we left. I used to see that dude. He, I used to see David Dondero all the time. Who's kind of like Bright Eyes. I saw him too. Yeah. Yeah, that's his like, that's one of Connor Ober's like people. I saw him and I asked him, I was like, hey, did you ever, do you ever, I'm sure he, I don't, maybe he doesn't get asked this question all the time, or maybe he does, I don't know. But I was like, hey, do you ever feel like Connor Ober's kind of like screwed you over? Shouldn't he have like brought you on tour with him or something or like made it so you're, I'm not seeing you at a house show and yeah, you're like yeah. in your 50s? <laughs> How do you respond to that? He went, I don't talk to Connor anymore. I was about to say, I bet, I bet he gets asked that question fair bit. Yeah, he went, I don't talk to Connor anymore, man. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the show. Yeah. <laughs> that was, this was pre-show. <laughs> What a t-shirt. <laughs> Free show. He was like, he, he was like, I bought a t-shirt. Hey man, your career sucks. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be out there. I'll be staring at you. <laughs> also, when you eat food tomorrow, remember it's because of me <laughs> in this moment. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> me, the guy who's insulting you is helping keeping you alive. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're going to end it there. We're at an hour. 